Uh, hey guys, um, I'm going to teach you how to do the basically the Final Fantasy bars at the bottom of the screen for your movies. Um, here's an example of what it will probably look like in the end. Okay, so basically what you want to do is you're going to go on Google or whatever search engine and you're going to find an image, a screenshot of the actual game Final Fantasy like here. Now, you're going to need, you need to find at least two equivalent. You're going to find one that has the uh, command bar right here already set up and you're going to find one with out the command bar like this. You could either do this or if you want you can create your own command bars instead. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up those pictures on uh, some sort of photo editing software. I use GIMP or GIMP whatever you pronounce it. You can get GIMP uh, on Google. You could just search it and get it for yourselves. It's equivalent to Photoshop. I like to use it. But for this, you don't really need GIMP. You can just use Paint instead. Now, what you want to do is you want to crop out the picture of the screenshot from here. See how here has a picture and this one doesn't? You want to take that out. You could just you can easily crop that out on whatever editing software you have. You're going to want to make this section transparent. On paint, what you want to do for this is, uh, basically what you're going to do is, uh, you're going to take this picture, and you're going to color in the picture green, so that you can chroma key this out later on. So, yeah, you can get more into detail with, like, these corners and stuff, but basically this is all you need. So, you're going to need this. Uh, other little things that you're going to need is, you're going to need a little blue box like this. This is basically where uh, the actual attack commands come in. Uh, you're going to need an arrow. You're going to need the classic arrow. You can easily crop this out um, from any of the pictures, so, like so. You're also going to need this. This is basically that title bar where they name the attack that you use in the games so that's basically what you need for now I'm assuming that you know how to create these if not I'll post them up in the sidebar if you need them now what you want to do is upload all of these uh, pictures and your video onto Sony Vegas Okay, now, once you have everything uploaded onto uh, Sony Vegas, including your video scenario, here's mine, uh, in which, you know, the first character, me, runs up, punches the enemy, and then the enemy attacks me. So, to do this right, we're going to take our, uh, our transparencies that we made, and... So basically what we're going to do is put the bars on top of the video. First thing you want to do is you want to make several uh, video tracks on top of your video. So for now just make three. Just Now here's your video. Now it starts off with my character attacking the enemy. So right there I attack. So you want to go back to about here. About there you want to put in, you want to fit in your blank base, which is this. Okay, freeze. Um, don't forget, for those who uh, decide to color in their pictures green, you're going to have to chroma key the green out and put those on top of the video. You'll still have the same effect, but you just don't forget to chroma key and unfreeze so turn that up a bit that should be good and then you want to put in the one with the command on it so it looks as if now if you play it 
it looks as if my turn has come up if you look on the on the preview so if I just play that normally it will look like this beep and now it's my turn so now what you need is the arrow dragging the arrow on top now it's, it's really big that's kind of unnecessary so let me zoom in here line it up first things first since it's pretty big let's minimize it down shrink it that should be the right size right there okay that size that size should be good and you want to drag that down to next to the attack on the command bar like so okay so that's what it looks like so if I play it the arrow comes up to along with the attack bar now here I'm about to run so by there you want to make it look as if you selected the bad guy so you want to make a copy of that of the arrow paste it right next to so right here we edit the pan slash crop button and move the arrow next to the enemy like so X that out so that right before I run the arrow needs to disappear to make it look like as if I just selected uh, my command to attack the enemy so if I let that play this is what it'll look like now what you also want to do is you want to get rid of the, uh, the command bar to that length also and bring in the the blank base as well to make it look like as if I took my turn I selected my command and I'm done so if we replay it again and put the new bar in this is what it'll look like it's my turn hit attack punch and the command bar goes away now you can easily fill in these name spots in the HP spots with uh, text which you could do for your other layers which is why this will take a lot of layers to do but in the end this is your basic command attack select the enemy and attack you're gonna need sound effects that definitely helps on your video uh, you can find these sound effects easily uh, throughout the internet just look around and you'll find a whole bunch